what's going on guys today we are going to install visual studio and configure it to develop uh, .NET core application and .NET framework application and also SQL Server database and I'm going to show you how to create a database in SQL Server management studio also so let's do it open up any browsing software and search Visual Studio and simply click that first link and from there you need to download Visual Studio code and community edition we don't need professional because oh, you have to pay and community is full fledged also now we got all feature that professional have so simply download that community edition now open that setup.exe file continue and this is a bulky id so it will take a uh, tremendous amount of time to install visual studio if you are going to use a microsoft technology to create your project or application then you should use visual studio rather than visual studio code because visual studio is full fledged id and visual studio code is only text editing software you have to install extension and uh, so on so i prefer visual studio rather than visual studio code if you are using csap.net or visual basic for your project now here is the things uh, if you are going to use asp.net and asp.net codes like that and if you are going to use python select that but if you are not going to use visual studio for python deployment i already um, created one video uh, how to install python and how to uh, install pychamp also so have a look at that select asp.net and what else we need we need .NET desktop development also so select that and if you are going to use you know, multi-platform app development uh, that is uh, for mac os android ios you can select that also there you can see this is 10 gb file and node uh, js development also but we are going to use only microsoft technology that is sp.net and uh, .net desktop development only here you can install bas tools here from here game deployment with unity and so on and from here choose the additional setting and asp.net and if you are planning to create a website using asp.net only not asp.net core then uh, you should select couple of things from here expand that asp.net uh, deployment and from here what you need to do is additional project and asp.net framework project and item also this will give you the asp.net template also but by default uh, it will give you only asp.net core that is a new technology by the way and deployment as iis support also that means internet information server uh, you have to check that box also and that's all you can also select a .NET framework here if you are planning to work with .NET framework but if you are new uh, you should use .NET core rather than .NET framework because .NET core is latest technology and uh, it is growing and it is also cross platform and it is faster than .NET framework so that's all now click install it will take some time because oh, we have to download 10 gb install that now our install successfully visual studio install successfully now it is opening now there you go visual studio 2022 is installed the latest one then here 
click new project and from here you can create variety of application like console application blazor oi application asp.net core asp.net web api and lots of template here and windows form windows form application also here it is a dot net it is not the dot net framework it is only dot net then you can also uh, windows form application dot net framework here you can see and asp.net also uh, if you are planning to use asp.net uh, web application that is uh, the older one not the asp.net core then uh, i already show you how to install that uh, by default it will not install and asp.net web application also here if you forget to install that uh, scroll down and install from here click modify and then from here uh, expand that asp.net development and we have to uh, check two box here the additional project template in .NET framework project so close that and here what i am going to do is i am going to create one windows form application select c is a backend language and next and select .NET .NET 8.0 and then creating project now from here view toolbox you can drag and drop some toolbox from here and you need a server explorer also to connect your application to the sql server database and there you go all forms and common forms label and then text box and then button you can uh, do like that way and um, in order to connect this with the sql server right click over data connection and then add connection and from there microsoft sql server click continue and here refresh it will display your server name now choose your server from here uh, it is not displaying i under why now let's check whether sql server express is running or not so for that uh, go to control panel and then go to windows tools and from there computer management and from there SQL Server Configuration Manager, SQL Server, and that you can see SQL Express is running. So maybe mm, our service is not running. So for that, go to Services and you scroll down, and there you can find SQL Server Browser. And there you go, it is disabled. Go to Property and then select Automatic. OK, and then start it after starting it go to visual studio and refresh it our server name must display there there you go our server name is displayed now click that trust server certificate and choose your database we have not created in database so open up sql server management studio and then connect windows authentication right click over database new database new user click ok and then let's create table also so expand the database and expand that recently created database and right click over table new table and here you have to provide the column name like first name bear care last name pair care simply press ctrl plus s and give the table name new user okay now go back to visual studio and select your database it is not displaying because um, we recently created 
so cancel that and right click again add connection sql server okay refresh it now choose your database our database is new user click ok and now we'll select that database and from the right click go to property and from the connection property connection connection string you need that connection string to connect your application with the sql server now i'm going to show you how to create uh, asp.net web application so exit that now open visual studio 2022 again new project and air source and you have to choose asp.net web application dot net framework click next and then give project name next and select empty next and as you all know that asp.net is a server side programming language so in order to execute asp.net code what you have to do is you need a server so for that uh, you need a server and for microsoft technology we have internet information server uh, we have to enable that to enable that go to control panel and program and features and uh, there you can see thorn windows feature on or off and from there what you have to do is scroll down and you have to select information internet information service check that and ftp server what server you like and simply click ok it will automatically enable for us now you can execute your asp.net web application by selecting iss server you will see error mm, here our default document is not configured because what we have to do is go back to visual studio and right click over your application and then add and then web forms then here add one hello from asp.net save that and run your application because uh, earlier we don't have any web pages that's why that error is displaying there you go hello from asp.net uh, if you still uh, getting this error what uh, you have to do is go to iss and there um, a directory browsing you have to enable that after enabling that you should not uh, see that error so in this way you can download and install visual studio and configure visual studio for the required uh, resource you need like for creating asp.net web application not the asp.net core application which are latest one if you are new to microsoft technology then you should really start with the asp.net core technology not with the asp.net Mm, uh, framework technology because asp.net framework is old technology and asp.net core is new technology so that's it uh, in this way you can connect visual studio with your sql server also i show you everything and stay connected with this channel because we are going to create a lot of tutorial regarding asp.net and sql server and csav regarding asp.net web application and then uh, windows form application and csap.net tutorials so so definitely subscribe this channel and stay connected with us because we are going to bring amazing tutorial for you guys and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye